All right, we know that Shohei Otani is going to get a lot of money in free agency. There's the $600 million number being floated out there. There's the $500 million number being floated out there. I think it's going to be 500 But some fans are like, why is he going to get 500 or $600 million? Like Some fans just think like a baseball player should not be worth that much money. But maybe it would be an underpay based on – how much money Shohei Otani is bringing in. I'm looking at this MLB Trade Rumors article that was posted earlier today. Um, and it's talking about Shohei Otani's impact revenue-wise. And last October, it says here, there was a economist, an economist and professor uh, at Kansai University. I've never heard of that, but they released a report on Shohei's economic effects in the 2022 season, they found that he generated approximately $337 million last season. And that's coming off, obviously, the 2021 season where he won the MVP. They say $45 million uh, in ticket sales, merchandise sales over $7 million dollars. Says here 143, over 143 million dollars for ticket merchandise sales, coupled with his salary and sponsorships, brought Otani's direct impact on the U.S. economy. Um, talks about over 12 million dollars with the Japanese economy, calculated through merchandise sales, travel packages to Otani's games in probably Anaheim, right? Uh, appearance fees for TV commercials, and this is before. You know, the New Balance commercial, you know, that New Balance commercial that's been shown. I've seen it many times on television. That's not even counting that new commercial, right? Um, a lot of money being brought in. 2022, he brought in an estimated $178 million or generated that in the economy. 178 compared to over 300 last year. And I would think it's only going to grow as fans continue to learn and marvel at Shohei Otani. And this year with the World Baseball Classic and Team Japan winning that, I would think that the number is going to be much greater if there's another study on this next year at this time. I think it's going to be much more than 337 because you're factoring in all the popularity that he got from the World Baseball Classic, all the exposure from Team, Team Japan winning the whole thing, right? He's already a god there. But there was a lot of attention on Shohei during that World Baseball Classic with Japan making that deep run. So if he's bringing in $300 million or generating that in the economy and he's generating over $100 million, at least for the team, just himself, him getting paid $50 million a year, let's say it's 10 years, $500 million in free agency, is that much of an overpay? I mean, obviously, if he stays healthy, right? I mean, if he doesn't stay healthy, maybe that would be. But just the revenue that he's bringing in, not just from ticket sales, but other stuff as well, the TV deals, all that. Like, the team that gets Shohei, I assume he's not going to go back to the Angels. The team that gets Shohei Otani, well, they, they might be underpaying for him, if that makes sense. You look on fan graphs and you go to, like, players, the number one player up there, is Shohei Otani. So far this year, he has seven bombs. He's hitting over 300 for the Angels, a weighted runs created plus of 143, 43% above league average. You want to go to the pitching side of things. They have a totally separate tab for him, which obviously is not normal. He's just different. So far this year, pitching-wise, 39 innings. He has a one war, F war in that, 13.62K per nine. Seven starts, a sub three ERA, three five eight FIP, and he's doing what he's doing at the plate. I mean, he is just a unicorn. He is so freaking special, and I love turning on the TV and watching him every night, or watching him on MLB TV, or watching the highlights back, seeing how Shohei did. Let's let's not take this guy for granted because man, he is special. Thank you.